Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stose. I was working with a client this past week and we were on the telephone talking about his last meeting he had with his team. And I asked what some of his discoveries were. And the first thing he said is, I have really look, looking now at how they complain in a different way. I said, okay, complaining. He goes, they don't complain. Those are just expressions of passion. And he had a really new way of thinking about what he used to think of complaining now as an expression of passion. So do you have those people in your office or that you're around who are, uh, have their expressions of passions? Or maybe those are just the individuals who like to, quote, tell the truth to the world. So there's lots of those individuals out there that we might work with or hang around with every day in our world. So when we think about that, and think about last week when we talked about complainers, and I really wanted you to think about yourself and, and maybe uh, understanding our patterns of, of complaining, this week we're really gonna focus on those around us. And so when you think about the complaining in the world, why does it really happen again? And remember we talked about how sometimes complaining is just getting it off your chest. Sometimes it's just an expression of uh, some emotional response. And other times it's a little bit of self-pity. And sometimes we just want some attention. So when you think about those different kinds, let's think about how do you manage those people who are complaining around us every day. First is, sometimes it's just good to um, play an active listening role, but then repeat what they say back. Sometimes they have no idea that they're even complaining, but when you say it back to them, it might come across a little differently that they realize, oh, that's really what I said, that they're just really not aware. The other thing you might do when they're um, complaining is really asking them, so what are you doing to solve the problem? And then it's we really understand that they're not there to solve a problem. They're really just there to be a victim or really just there to get something off of their chest. Or if they are just there to get it off their chest, just let them get it off their chest, but change the subject and quickly move the conversation off to a new direction. So let's talk about managing those individuals a little bit deeper on how we can turn those gripers, moaners, and complainers into more productive um, employees in our environment. How can you really turn that um, complaint into a discussion? Again, sometimes that's not the point of the conversation, but if it is and you're managing someone, I think it's really good to have that conversation with them to decide, is this a constant complaining issue? And you need to really bring it to their attention if they are causing a workplace drama and just bring in that negative attitude every day. Or if they really um, do have uh, some good information to share that they're complaining about but really could be productive. So let's talk about how we really change that into more of a productive, productive discussion. So when that conversation comes up, it's really important to, to start asking questions about what the problem really is. If someone's complaining, um, really dig deeper to say, well, what is this complaint about? Is it because there is an issue? If there, if there is an issue, let's talk about what are some of the solutions that we could brainstorm. And three, what's the outcome that we're looking for? So if we start to take them down a path, it turns that complaint that might seem like a complaint into a productive conversation that may help our workplace environment. So sometimes there are individuals who are, are um, good at bringing up the problems and maybe the naysayers in your workplace that you kind of always, you know, oh, here they go again, or maybe that devil's advocate, sometimes they can really bring some good to our environment and give us a little different perspective than maybe what we're used to. So take a few minutes to think about, is this a constant complaint or not? The other thing is, if you are the complainer and um, really are trying to make a point of making change in the environment, maybe we should look at the attitude in how you present that. If you are the ones that is actually you know, bringing it up, if you want to move it to a discussion instead of a complaint, it's really the attitude in which you present the information and how you uh, prepare and how you present the information that here's an issue and here's maybe what we could do to solve it. So it doesn't come across as a complaint that it might be more of a, of a let's really work towards a solution. So for a positive charge this week, let's think of a couple things. One is when you're in a conversation with a complainer, let's see how you can maybe turn that conversation into a more productive conversation and help them understand by either repeating back again or really asking them for a solution in terms of, of to their problem. And secondly, let's think about one of those individuals on your team that you may manage that might come across as a constant complainer and think about how we can have those uh, discussions about how to turn this complaining into more of a contribution to the environment. 
um, and make our workplace a better place to be. Thank you for joining us today and remember to get your mind on.